All right, continuing on with more fire effects, we're actually going to create a burning edge into this cardboard paper here. The first thing I need to do is actually get my lasso tool, and I'm just going to draw general selection in roughly the area I want my burning edge to be. So, just like that. So with that area selected, I'm going to copy and paste this into its own layer by pressing Command J. So that will put that selection on its own layer just like that. And I'm going to change this layer's blending mode to color burn. How appropriate. <laughs> now, after I've changed that blending mode, I'm going to go over here and get my paintbrush tool. Because I really only want this, the edge that's near here to be that reddish color. And don't need really need everything else in here. So I'm with a black, soft paintbrush. I'm just going to paint in all the rest of this area here. Just kind of getting somewhat close to that edge, but not too, too much. Just enough so it reveals that red area just a little bit. Just like that. Then, with that layer still active, I'm going to double click on the icon, bring up my layer styles, and I'm going to activate an outer glow. Get my color picker over here, and I'm going to sample this little red color inside here, that burnt color. Kind of a reddish color there. I'm actually going to make it a little bit lighter than what I've got here. That's OK. Change this style's blending mode to, of course, color burn. And we'll push that size out a little bit like that. Now I'm going to apply an inner glow and do the exact same thing. Go into there, go in here, and we're going to sample this color. Lighten it up a hair. Change that blending mode. Increase the size just a little bit there. Maybe lighten that just a little bit more. Oops. Just like that. Okay. So now we got our burnt edge. And now we got to create the flames that are actually burning that edge. I'm going to create, actually, I'm going to load that layer as a selection by pressing Command and clicking right directly on that layer. I'm going to create a new layer. And go under Select to Modify Border. And give us a big border selection, which is 30. 30 pixels is about what I want. So I'll hit OK. So we get that thick line, double line selection there. Now I'm going to go under Filter, making sure my foreground and background color are set to their default black and white. Go under Filter to Render Clouds, and that'll give a subtle clouds fill in there. Just some variations of grays and blacks. Then, under Filter, go to Artistic to Plastic Wrap. And this will give it a kind of a subtle variant shiny effect, as you'll see in a second. Just hit OK. You can see those subtle little hints of light in there. And that'll be important for what we're going to do in a minute. I'm going to deselect that. Now, I don't need this area that's up in the corner here, these areas along the side, so I'm just going to get my eraser tool and just brush those away. I won't be needing those at all. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to nudge this. I'm get my move tool. With that layer active, I'm just going to use my arrows tools and just kind of nudge this over just so we're revealing that burnt edge right there. And now we're going to use this to create our flames. That layer active, go under Filter to Liquify. And making sure we're using this brush right up here, the Forward Warp Tool. And with a relatively good brush size, roughly the size of the width of our area here. Well, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to keep my brush pressure around 65. And just right inside that area, I'm just going to start pushing this area up. Actually, let's increase that pressure to about 85. And we're just pushing this area up just to create those flames just a little bit. about like that. And we'll hit OK. So there we've got a little bit of flames going on. Well, now we're now to colorize them. So I'm going to bring up my hue and saturation, pressing Command or Control U. Click on the Colorize button here. Push the hue over just a little bit and really bump up that saturation. As we know, fire has really rich reds and orange inside of it. Do just like this. And 
hit OK. Now, I'm going to enhance the glow of this fire a little bit, but before I do that, I'm going to go over here and get my smudge tool. And with relatively low strength, I'm actually going to make it about 25%. You see some of these harsh lines inside the fire. I just want to use the smudge tool to kind of soften that up. Almost give it, almost, almost in a sense, a motion blur effect to it. And just like that. Just kind of push some of these areas so they're not so harsh. Alright, so once I do that, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And then change that layer's blending mode to color dodge. And you can see that fire is getting a little more intense and a bit more realistic in there. So, there's my fire. Well, where there's fire, there's smoke. Or is it where there's smoke, there's fire? I don't know. Let's put the smoke in, though. I'm going to create a new layer. And with a regular paintbrush, bring up my white as my foreground color. And with a soft edge brush, relatively small, I'm actually going to drop the opacity of it down to about 70-ish. About I'm just going to paint a subtle white line right along there. That's all I've done. It's just a white area on its own layer. And with that smudge tool, again, increasing the strength to about 75, it's going to push that white area just all around, similar to the way we did in Liquify, creating the flames. But now we're just kind of making smoke trails, making it a little bit more realistic. Drop that opacity, because that smoke wouldn't be as harsh on there. Just like that. All right, so there you have it. We've created a burning edge right into this paper, and we did it all right here inside of Photoshop. So, give it a try.